What is good everyone? Welcome to my channel and just a quick mid-week video based on a question from a subscriber. How does one do their taxes in Japan? So that's what I'm going to talk about now. And it's something that I just finished doing because it's the beginning of April now and you file your taxes in March in Japan. And it really isn't that difficult. It's not as daunting as you might think it is. If you go online and Google, you know, how to do your taxes, you're going to get a lot of advice and a lot of people trying to sell you, you know, the service of doing your taxes for you. But hopefully what I tell you today will give you a little more confidence to be able to take care of it yourself and understand a little bit how the tax situation works in Japan if it's new to you. Now, First and foremost, I am not a tax professional. I am not a certified public accountant or anything like that. So I'm not going to be qualified in any way, of course, to give advice on particular situations. I'm just going to be sharing my case and how I go through this process. And hopefully it can be of use to you. Now, first of all, if you are a full-time employee of a company or school or something, it's going to be super easy. Basically, they will withhold the necessary amount of tax money and basically you really won't have to do anything. Where things get complicated are if you have other jobs or you have other things that change your tax liability. For example, around about the end of October and early November, I start getting some little postcards in the mail and those postcards are the information on my private insurance that I pay for every single year. And this is outside of the national health insurance scheme and the national pension scheme. If you have your own private pension scheme through a bank or a insurance company, or you have any kind of private insurance, then that actually will lessen your tax liability. So I take those cards and I go to the personnel department at the university where I work. I fill out some paperwork that they require every year in November and I hand those cards over to them and basically they use that to calculate how much they are going to withhold from my paycheck. So even though I make exactly the same amount of money as some of my coworkers, my monthly paycheck might look different than theirs because of different withholding. Now, if you are self-employed or part-time employed, your situation is going to be different and probably more complicated and you will have to file yourself. Now, I actually do file myself because my situation gets even more complicated than that. I have a part-time job one day a week and they don't withhold enough money because they're not they don't know what my income is so they're withholding too little so it used to be that i would go to the tax office and i'd always end up owing a little bit more money because i wasn't paying enough withholding from that part-time job with that part-time job and more recently the fact that we have built a house i have a tax incentive of having built that house basically the government set up a system that for 10 years you get a discount on your income tax if you build a new home and having built a new home that means I get another basically an envelope of information about my house loan I get that every October and I need that for figuring my taxes and I understand I could take these things to the personnel department where I work and they could try to figure it all out themselves. But honestly, for my purposes, that's a little bit more of a hassle that I'm not gonna get into the reasons why I don't do that. I actually take it upon myself to go to the tax office and file myself. Now, I get a card from the tax office every year which has my tax filing number. So I need to keep that with all of my information. So around about January, I get something in the mail from my places of employment called a Gensen Choshu, which is a little card that shows the money that I was paid over the year and also how much was withheld and some other information is on there as well. And so that is all the stuff that I need to take to the tax office. So in the end, 
what I end up taking to the tax office is the card from the tax office with my tax number, those Gensin Shoshu payment information slips, how much I was paid and how much tax has already been withheld. I take the information from my house loan company and my main place of employment has already taken care of those side insurance policies that I have, so I don't have to take anything in regards to that. And here is where I want to stress that it's actually a pretty easy process and why I think most people in Japan are not going to need to hire an accountant or have a tax preparer really do it for you. I mean, I guess it might save you some time, but it won't save you money, obviously. I don't pay for any tax preparation and even though my Japanese level isn't spectacular for doing taxes, I mean that's obviously very complicated stuff, um, it's sufficient and the people that work at the tax office are so helpful, they are thoroughly professionals, they know what they're doing, they can look at all of your documentation and even if you don't have any Japanese at all. They're going to see what you have in front of them and they'll be able to help you put that together and basically when you get to the tax office you'll stand in line um, it's usually like from March 1st to like the 15th or something like that maybe the 16th um, don't quote me on that one but during that period you go to the tax office you wait in line this year you had to reserve because of corona so they didn't want too many people in there at once and once you're there, you'll meet with a tax preparer who will walk you through the initial paperwork. And then you will go to a computer because everything is done by e-filing. They will print out a copy for you at the end, which is very nice of them to do that for you at no expense to you. But basically you will take what that person helped you prepare on the paperwork and you'll go and you'll put it into the computer. And again, there's going to be a tax preparer there who knows what they're doing and will help you do the whole computer system. And I could probably at this point maybe do it myself, but I still want to have someone helping me mainly because I don't want to miss out on my refund because I get a refund now because of that housing tax uh, credit that I get. So basically, even if your tax liability seems like it might be really complicated, the people at the tax office really know what they're doing. They are professional, and like I said, you don't even really need to have to worry about a language barrier so much, as long as you have all of the correct paperwork. So I guess to review what that correct paperwork would be is you need the Gensin Choshu from, that you receive in January, from your employer or employers and that will have all of your salary and withholding information on it you will need if you have a house you will need that uh, loan papers if it's a, if it's a new house if you build a new house the government does not offer you this tax uh, credit if you buy a already built house it has to be something that you've gone through the building process yourself and if your employer hasn't taken care of these things for you, you'll need to have those cards that you got in October, November that show that you are enrolled in various private pension or insurance schemes. Now, there might be other things along the way. Um, I wonder if I'm forgetting anything. I think my main points have been made. And I guess what I want to stress is that unless you've got something remarkably more complicated than what I've just described, it is something you can do yourself, just going to the tax office. And you don't have to pay to have an accountant or a tax preparer do it for you, unless you don't have that day to go to the tax office yourself. I suppose I'm lucky in that regard because it's during my school spring break. I don't have any classes going on in early March, so I have a day where I can go to the tax office. I suppose if you don't have that luxury, it may not be possible. But if you are able to take a day off and go and save yourself the money of paying for tax preparation, I would recommend doing it because the people that... I've, I've done this at three different tax offices based on having moved around a bit in Japan, and they always know what they're doing. They always have 
really good professionals and whose job it is to help you through this process. So why pay for someone to do that when you have a professional waiting for you at the tax office that can do it for you there. And that's it. If you have specific questions, uh, I might be able to answer them, but probably not. Like I said, I'm not obviously a certified public accountant myself. So um, basically all I can do is share my experience and that's what I've done. Thank you for listening to this short middle of the week. Look for my usual Friday videos. I still put out a video every single Friday about Japan, society, life, and culture. And check out all the other videos that I have made up to this point as well. I appreciate you watching this one, and I will see you on Friday, I hope. Peace.